I wanted to take this uh, video last week, but uh, of course I'm lazy. <laughs> to a degree. I'm lazy with this kind of stuff, not lazy with other things. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, spilling over. Uh, right now I'm bulking up. I'm still eating relatively clean, but I'm adding more carbs to my diet, which will of course add possibly more fat to my body. Uh, the whole key is as you sit there, and we all start off at the same level, whatever your neutral was when you first started, we want to increase muscle, right? So as we go, and then we cut, then we increase more muscle, but sometimes your fat level will come up. And then of course, then before a show or whatever you're trying to get ready for, you want to do a cut with carbs so it goes down. And eventually that starts to, you know, space starts to become bigger and bigger. Now, if you want to do a dirty bulk, you can get crazy with it and become a big old fat monster. Well, I felt a little thick and I felt uh, a little um, fluffy, so to speak. And uh, it wasn't bad, but I just don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it looks. I like to have some cuts, some vascularity at all times. You can make muscles or gains even on a diet. All you have to do is change how you eat a little bit. So um, when I increased my carbs in all my meals through the day, at first when I started this, I was fine. Uh, I got done with my, sh my show. Uh, it was the uh, first weekend of August 2017. Now we're at uh, what January 21st. And I started feeling this way last week, as I said. So I then said, okay, what should I do without getting too crazy? And that this is kind of one of the biggest things I wanted to talk about is where do we start when we make a diet? And you can do this with me. Yeah, you're not getting ready for a show, but how do you take off a little fat without really going crazy? Because a lot of times we go on these diets and then we sit there and you know we go through a week and we and we don't see any change and we're just like oh my god because you're starving you're hungry and you get upset and then you just give up you have to do it in small increments so what i did is i'll have no carbs for my first meal and my last meal of the day now of course for me that that means you know very little because i'm having anywhere from 6 to 8 meals a day um and I pack in more of my carbs before and mostly after my workout. So my body will use the carbs for something. It's not just gonna sit there. So what you can do, even though you don't probably work out like I do, is do the exact same thing. And we can start this together and you can see the change that your body will have. For me, last week I got on the scale, I was 218 or 19 pounds. And this morning I got on it and I was 213. Now, I didn't just drop fat like that. It's not all fat. But I would bet a good, you know, couple pounds, three pounds of it is fat. And my uh, water uh, has something to do with it as well. Um, plus, you're not, uh, the carbs hold water. You, know, you don't have as much in your system. So all that comes into play. But just one week, seven days, the, that's a huge difference in weight. And I'm going to do this all the way until I leave here in Japan I'm going back to the States uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm gonna be on the move when you're on the move you can't eat as healthier uh, and you can't plan your meals as I do now so I'm preparing myself for all those horrible meals that I will be enduring um, when, I'm, when I'm out and about and uh, that's fine I can enjoy myself I'll use that time just to do what I can, you know, I'll, I'll eat as healthy as I can at the places I can, but if all of a sudden I'm somewhere and uh, all there is is, you know, meatball subs and whatever the hell it is, then I'll eat it and I'll enjoy myself and I'll still look, you know, I'll still look good. Um, but it's amazing the difference, just removing carbs from your diet and moving them into a different location will do for you. Um, for, for me, of course, it will show quicker be, do the fact that I have more muscle on my body. My body requires a lot of calories, so of course when I give it less in carbs and I put in protein, it says, what do I use for energy? My body then says, the only thing we got here are fats. And then it uses that stored fat to break that process down. For you, you won't see as much, but that's how you start. It might take longer where I'll 
make huge changes within a month or two, it might take you, you know, six months before you really see a significant change. Now, you can do more. Oh, I know, that's that, I'm sorry. I don't want to offend you, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> but if you happen to be a person who loves soda pop, all these drinkable calories, that's another huge one we, uh, we do. And it took me a long time to get off mine. I used to love Mountain Dew when I was younger. I would drink a case a day. That was back in the day when a case was 24 cans. I go through liters of this stuff. I'm actually amazed I don't have, I'm not a diabetic of some sort. So you got to get off that garbage. You got to. It took me five years to get off of it. And I mean, it took a lot of work um, to where I was drinking more water. I, I went back and forth between, you know, uh, sugary Kool-Aid type drinks into the ones where that were sugar free. I went, you know, from Mountain Dew to Diet Mountain Dew, from Diet Mountain Dew to uh, Seven Up, Diet Seven Up, stuff like that. And I just kept changing my palate slightly and slowly through the years. And it took five years, like I said before. Finally, I taste a, a, a sugary beverage and it just destroys my teeth. It makes them feel like they're rattling in my face. So, but I wanted to just tell you what I'm doing and now's the time. I mean, you're talking, it's the beginning of the year. Holidays are over. The fun food time is done. Um, so make these changes now because the summer is really around the corner. You know, uh, you, you sit there and think, you know, you're looking outside and all these snowstorms and whatnot, but you got to start now. If you want to look good in June, July time frame, you got to start now. So that's just my little piece. Make these small changes, start with those, and give it some time. And then uh, I'll bring you some more information later. See you at the gym and good luck.